Hi, this is Dean DeCosta, and today we're going to talk a tool that I've spoken about before, but it's gotten a new update. Now, this has a free version and a paid version, um, and and basically it's it's Facebook UID Scraper, and it's had a recent update uh, that does some really neat things. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm actually going to open the Facebook UID Scraper options. And as you can see here, normally in the free version, you get the scraped following columns, you get the UID name, link, profile. It's pretty much all you get. As you can see here, though, I have some extra things checked. Uh, current city, hometown, current work, current company, skills, education, public phone, public address, public websites, public email, public Skype. Now, that's for the, what you get. Those extra things are the things you can get with the paid version. Now, the paid version is only $19 for life, so it's not like it's super expensive, and it really gives you some really cool stuff, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is go through how to actually use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save what I've done here, because we want to save these things, and I'm going to come back here. Uh, as with the uh, free version, uh, same thing. You open this up, and you start searching. This is kind of like the graph search that you used to have here. Uh, we're going to put in the word Java. Uh, we're going to go back to current job and we're going to put in the word Hadoop. I'm trying to keep this uh, subset small uh, to make it simpler. And then we're going to put a location and we're going to go ahead and go with um, Seattle. And then we're going to search. And what it's doing now is it's searching through Facebook. Ah, I couldn't find anything. That means I had two narrow search and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that that is a byproduct of the Hadoop that I added as opposed to um, the Java. So we're going to do this again, only this time we aren't going to put a specific geographical location. Uh, and we're going to do Hadoop again. And, and the, like I said, the reason for that is to try to keep the, the subset small because I don't want to pull a whole boatload of people and make this take forever. And you know we're, we're going to sit here and wait for it to load. And more importantly, wait for Facebook to load as it's got to load all this stuff and, and this right here on the side. Now, this part of the tool, as soon as it's done loading, is usually up here and hidden right there where it says show form well now we're going to show it because we want to use it and this is what you get now we're going to call this Hadoop and then we're going to go ahead and add to queue now what it's doing now is it's bringing it over here and it's queuing it it's basically uh, going ahead and and, and searching and getting all the information that we want and, and it'll let us know when it's ready which should be soon it says queue is finished so we're going to push OK now even though that said queue is finished it still says queuing here I'm of the mind to kind of wait until, see, finish, till that happens. So I'm going to open. And what we're going to get is a nice, oops, wrong one, is a nice CSV, which has got their UID, okay, whatever. It's got their full name, which is good. It's got their profile for Facebook, which is important because, any, as you notice right here, this part right here, after the slash, after the dot com, and before the question mark, that's their Facebook user ID, which now means you have their Facebook email address, which is going to be this user ID at Facebook.com, so that's a, that's, a, that's a really cool thing to keep in mind. And then we're going to get the city, they're in the hometown, um, hometown, excuse me, we're going to get their... Uh, current workplace, their current uh, company, any skills if they mentioned any, the education that they have, if any, and again, if they have any public information, we would get it, they didn't. And then, of course, down here you get public website, which is their Facebook in this person's case. But you'll notice down here, this person also has, oops, let me open that up. This person also has a YouTube site. The same thing with the next one below. He has a blog site plus a YouTube site. So you're getting other sites that other social sites that they may have available to you. So that's really cool. You got their blog, another blog, a YouTube. Here you have a YouTube and their Facebook. Great. So what did you get? You got a nice great little designed web page that you can update into a CRM or ATS. You got their Facebook uh, you got their Facebook profile name, which now means you have their Facebook email address, and you got other sites where they may be located, Facebook, uh, blogs, YouTube, what have you. So you got some really cool, really good information, and that's just for these people. There are other people. You might get email addresses. You might get phone numbers. You might get um, public Skypes. You might get anything. And so as you can see, this particular tool now does so much more than it used to do, and is actually pretty good, and, and definitely without that in my mind, worth... worth um, worth the $19 because of everything it gives you. Um, and that's really pretty much about it. This is a Facebook UID scraper, the free, the, the, uh, 
and you see what you get and then you've got the um, the paid version where you get a little more and the free you'll get the UID the name and their profile it's pretty much what you get uh, paid you get so much more and again $19 for life so it's really a good a good tool really a good thing and uh, all in all a great tool something I would recommend you getting and this is Dean DaCosta and that's Facebook UID scraper updated <laughs>